It's about ideas and people. The history of science is not the history of ideas. It's the history of people having ideas, arguing them out. I don't think you necessarily have to be a scientist to uh, be a good science communicator. I do think you have to care about science and you have to be interested in it and you have to like it to, to do it well. The future of our economies and societies will depend on having a very lively, flourishing research community. The best advice I ever got was not um, from anybody to do with science communication. That um, Monty Python film, The Life of Brian, they have a scene where they're all singing a song, always look on the bright side of life. And that's what I've done. If there is one thing that has changed a lot in my lifetime, it's the way in which science communication has gone from being a rather amateur activity to a very professional one and a very well done one. And I think that means that courses like the one here are extremely important. You must retain your critical faculties. So always be true to yourself and don't allow yourself to be steered down a path that you don't think is right.